Hello everybody, it's Brian with you from the GameCom, and we're playing some more Civilization 6. We're continuing our Tomaris Synthian Empire Let's Play, in which we're spamming a bunch of horses and trying to own the whole world with the domination victory. We currently have London, we're moving on Russia. Uh, as soon as I can figure out the best way into their land, we will be declaring war on them. So, it has been about a week and a half since I got to play this game. I have been super busy in my real life, if you've been following me on Twitter, and I think I even mentioned in one of my China Let's Plays uh, how busy I've been. So, hopefully I remember everything we're doing. Apparently, we're... Uh, wow. So this Heavy Chariot can't one-hit the scout. That's actually a little interesting. I kind of figured he would be able to. Uh, you cannot move. You are not our chariot. So, yeah, I guess we'll go beat you down a little bit. And what else do we have? We have a Battering Ram. So, I do want to... Uh, bring the battering ram this way. Where do we have our warrior? Did they all die on me? Or do we send him back? No, we sent him. Okay, we sent him here. I suppose I'm just gonna have you guys stick together for the time being. We do have swordmen coming out in four turns. Maybe by the time he gets here. The question is, do I actually have iron? And I think the question or the problem was I didn't have any iron anywhere. So yeah. You're gonna have to forgive me. I kind of remember what I'm doing, but not too, too well. Now, I do remember we were trying to put our city right there, if I remember correctly, because this was gonna give us the most. Even though this says, hey, this is a really good spot. What does this give us? One, two, three, four. That does give us the uh, cattle eventually, as well as that. Uh, one, two, three, we will get that. Here we get one, two, three, we'll get the crabs. One, two, three, we'll get that. One, two, three, four. We'll get that wheat. So essentially, here we get crabs and wheat. One, two, three. But we lose one, two, three, four. But we'll lose access to the cattle. I still think that's better. Although, man, being surrounded by the water seems really good. So what if we came here? One, two, three, four. Uh, one, two. One, two. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So we'd lose the crab, but we'd get everything else. So why would they, why are they advising us not to put a city there? I don't know. That's an interesting question there. Truffles, one, two, three, four. I mean, here you get access to the truffles. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. We get the cattle, we get the horsies, we get the horsies. We get both wheats. One, two, three, four, and we get the truffles. All right, so this is actually where we want to go. Okay, sounds good. Civic! Uh, yeah, probably a new government. I don't really care about amphitheater, theater squared. That None of that means anything. But getting extra... Getting extra... Yeah, yeah. Being able to, like, pick one of these governments and gain extra slots is going to be uh, definitely ideal, I think, for us. You, what did you just finish, battering ram? Do we want to keep spamming out units? I think my assumption is I want to keep spamming out units. The problem is, like, I really want horsemen, but I can't get horsemen until for three turns or until we get one of these horsies. Uh, warriors just seem kind of bleh. So do I want to keep popping out horse archers, getting two for one? I guess. Might as well. I guess, oh, there's my warrior. Like I said, we're very much going hard on this, so we're just going to keep sending all our units in circles until we basically discover uh, and destroy all our enemies. So you are going to come this direction, you're going to come this direction, you're going to come this direction, and you need to come this direction. We can get all you guys down this way, apparently. Uh, our ship we're going to keep sending around the ocean, hopefully we can find other players. Uh, let's shoot you, you will kill him. So will you. I'd rather get the HP boost for him. Plus 47. Yeah, now he's back at full HP. That's what I want to see. Can we cross the water yet? No. Maybe I'm going to send you up this direction. Just to kind of see what's going on up there. You guys are linked together. We'll bring our warrior and battering ram this way with us. Um, Really quick. Audio. Yeah, my audio is good level. 
I'm, I'm still not quite entirely used to, this is my second recording session with my new mic, so I'm still not 100% confident with like where I'm at, especially since my previous one was like an over the ear kind of mic. This one is a actual stationary mic where if I get closer, I get louder. So I'm, I'm, I'm always trying to figure out, you know, exactly where, where I need to be next to the mic. I really should, I think personally be like right on the mic, but this freaking Yeti is super sensitive. So I'm a little bit away. Also, it's kind of uncomfortable for me to sit right on top of that mic, but that's more uh, posture, I guess, related problems. Uh, all right, so let's keep moving you around because I kind of want to get as good of a view of your land as possible. I'm really enjoying this playthrough because of how freaking quick it's going. Uh, man, our China Let's Play, especially at certain times, just took way too long. So I'm excited to actually kind of like get going here with some of this. Man, that sucks. These guys have a freaking four movement range and it's still going to take them like five turns to get down here because of all the hills and ground and everything. Ugh. All right, next turn we get our new city. Sounds good. I've set a trade delegation. Our capital is not open to visitors. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh... Good thing you didn't meet London, because, oh, snap. You, you would have heard bad things about us. Okay, so, Scout's not going to do anything to us, and we can pretty much own the crap out of those slingers, so I'm not too worried. Get you going, get you up here, and yeah, let's go check this out for now. We may want to start spamming out uh, units in that direction, actually. Uh, okay, so we do need that. Horses come this way. You guys just probably come over here. It's going to take you forever. And let's go ahead and plant this city. Saloka? Saloka? I'm assuming that's how it's pronounced. Okay, so now we have the barracks. Or sorry, we have the uh, encampment. Which means I can now spawn out horsemen. Oh, yes. Two for one. Horse me. Horsemen's, horse me, horsemos, whatever. I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, let's get granary. Yeah, let's get a granary. Warrior, sir. I could put him right here. Well, I can't actually get here. Yeah, it's gonna have to be all the way around there. Yeah, it's probably better for me to go like right here. Keep exploring. Yeah, I was actually kind of intrigued to see if there was a coast. So, are we the first one? No. So, someone else actually met you first. So, there is another civilization near you. Good to know. And it actually seems like we have found one right here. And I think that's France. It looks like France's colors. I don't really care about any of your quests. Um, You already went. <laughs> I want you to take the freaking goody hut, dang it. Two trading posts created. Your military threatens my borders. Uh, ignore this request. The opportunity has Everything has its limit. Iron ore cannot divide and rule a sound. All right, cool. So we got our extra policy slot. We gained a recon unit. Wow, that's like the most worthless thing in the world. But okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Where did... You're right here. Uh, go automate, please. So did he actually attack me? He did actually attack me. But by attacking him, I will get full HP, which is awesome. So we now have a trader out here. Can I get, I can get down to London, and then I think we'll go to Salico. Is London our best option right now, or should I put him here and then try getting over here? Honestly, I think we're going to move him to Pazirka. And I'm going to try getting all the way to Saloka. I'm gonna try, but I don't think that I, it, I don't think we can. I think that's gonna be too far. But we'll we'll see next turn. We do have a builder here. We have bananas. What have we not built yet? Or improved rather? Um, we have crabs. We have crabs. All of this except the stone has not actually been improved yet. The other option is I think I think we're gonna send you over here. You, what, only have one build left, I think? Yeah, you only have one build, so we do need another builder. Uh, I kind of screwed this up. This should be builder first, Brian. Yeah, let's go ahead and swap that. And I'm actually going to instead send you to London. 
I don't want to go to London. Told you I don't care. That's third eye blind for those of you wondering. Do I need more units this way? Or should I start sending them up here? I think we're going to start sending them up here. Get you up as much as possible. Why can't you go there, but you could go to the city? That seems a little weird. Can I shoot into their borders? I can shoot into their borders. See, I'm not attacking you. I'm attacking the barbarians that are near you. You're welcome. I'm happy I could be such of assistance to you. Jeez. Talk down to me when here I am helping you. Ooh. I don't think I'm really interested in that guy for now. Uh, research... Archery, I don't care about. Astrology, I don't really care about. I don't really care about any of these. Knight might be worth it, but I need iron, and I don't have freaking iron. So, yeah, we're not going to worry about knights, because I don't want to have to, like, not be able to build those units, I guess, is the problem. We could do Siege Tower. We could also do Catapult. I was actually, I remember debating about Catapult the last time I played. Let's just knock out Astrology. It's one turn. Uh, and you, whatever. So we do now have the ability to change government, but let's do this first. Uh, you finished a battering ram? No, you finished something else. Oh yeah, your units. Campus is not amazing. I think we're gonna keep going with the units. What's our money like? Our money's okay. But once again, we're not trading right now, so that's good. So, autocracy, capital receives one boost, or all land melee units gain plus four combat. We don't actually have melee units, so I think I'm going to take autocracy. Bonus on wonder production, 20% experience for combat units. Ah, but I like the two... Ah, fine. I hate, I hate this. <laughs> so, towards ancient, classical, melee, and range unit, yes, that's what we want. We do have a wild card slot now. Uh, counts as two, or plus two. Uh, what kind of city states are we looking at? I think we're going to keep sending it for the gold, because we want the golds. So, let's get plus two per turn. And then, plus five when fighting, double experience, unit maintenance reduced by one. Because we're going to have a lot of freaking, like, this is going to save us a lot of money. Yeah, <laughs> we went from plus three to plus 14. So that just means we're going to be able to spam out more units. Yes. Hello. My liege, we are beginning to attract the attention. A physician without a knowledge of astrology. Sweet. The more special do, we, do we get a great person? Is that what you're trying to tell me right now? Um, fine. I don't actually want to kill him because I kind of want to go exploring with him, but whatever. All right, so you, I want to send to Salika, but like I said, we can't get that far. Dang it. So, yeah, we'll go to London for now. I just, I need the trade routes. I need the roads uh, so I can keep sending units to the front line. So that's really kind of where I'm going right now, as much as anything is like, send out. Oh, there's iron up here. Uh... I need a... I, okay, I was like, I need a settler. Six turns. All right, okay, we got one coming. <laughs> uh, you, see, I can't... Uh, dang it. I should have moved that other unit. All right, hello, France. Oh, it's America. United States of America. Yeah, welcome. Hi, Teddy, what's up? I'm gonna kill you. I hope you... Uh, well met, stranger, but we can't chat. It's gonna be a bad day to be you soon, America. Hopefully I can get you before you have too many cities. Currency, let's do currency. Uh, that actually gives us more trade routes, I think, as well. Or I know there's stuff in, uh, in, in the currency that gives us more trade routes. By the way, I am house-sitting uh, the dog once again, so if you hear a dog licking or shaking or doing whatever, that it's not my dog, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, I want a dog so bad. Our condo technically does not let us have a, a dog, so shh. <laughs> Don't tell anyone. Okay, so we got you. We are moving up towards America. Mr. Warrior person. I think we're going to keep you right where you're at. Or in instead send you guys... Why did I send you way over there? Whatever. We're going to send you guys this way. And... Is that all my movements? I think that's all my movements. 
Ooh, they do have they do have a chariot. It's not really that big of a deal, but you know. Kinda wanna keep an eye on that. This unfortunately is gonna use your whole turn to cross this, right? Yeah. Because we got the river and the freaking uh hill. Move you over here, get you going over here. And we're pretty freaking close to being able to declare war. I don't know if his warrior is gonna attack me. If he does, he's not really gonna be able to do much to me. Um, I wonder if I need to put this guy over here just as protection, or maybe we should just, you know, automate you as well. Uh, okay, so Pokorovka, Pokorovka, what do we want to do here? I don't think we got any bonuses with the campus. I mean, all we got is the rainforest bonus, which is kind of crap. We should have just produced two horsemen. Oh, yeah, but they, oh, that sucks. They produce over here. God dang it. Uh, I need a military engineer. See, that's a problem for us because um, I love horsemen. That's great and everything, but it's going to take like two turns. Like, it's going to take most of their turn just to get freaking back on the road. <sighs> I need a military engineer. So the question is, horse archers? Or do we want to go with more horsemen? I mean, the horsemen do more damage, but they're melees. Okay, so we have one, two, three horse archer, horse archers. We have a chariot. I can't talk. And then we have two horsemen. Let's get a couple more horse archers. I just like the fact that they can do damage at range. That is honestly very, very nice for us. Um, God. Yeah, see, that sucks. You are going to stay here. And you are going to come over here. And take you over here. Take you over here. We're gonna go explore America's borders. Um, I think I'm gonna bring you this. I think I'm gonna bring them around this way. We just met two city states. All right. And so I'm gonna get him up here. You can see based on how the city's growing, this has to be like his secondary city. So this is gonna be like Boston or whatever is right there. Uh, unfortunately, our ship is completely landlocked. However, we can use, thank God, our canal city to get on the outside. So this is just like, we're on a Pangaea continent, and apparently this is just a lake, even though it counts as a coast, which is kind of messed up if you ask me, but whatever. Uh, next turn. Hmm. I've sent trade delegations. Uh, I'm literally about to declare war on you, so. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, I'm not taking your Really? Wealth consists not in having great possessions. All the world's estate. Yeah, yeah. So he literally just attacked me, did damage to me, but since my guy killed him while he was attacking me, I immediately flipped it around and got my HP back. Thank you. Appreciate that. Do we want to go straight for the declaration right now? We do have four movements. We'll be able to take the worker. I think we can kill the slinger pretty easily. Is there a reason not to? America might not like it, but I mean, honestly, no one's gonna like me anyways. Why are we, hey, no, shh, no growling. Uh, Westernizer, friendly civilizations that are ahead of them in science. Uh, okay, we, we actually don't know why. <sighs> well, all right, here's the thing. We're gonna be declaring war. Um, declare surprise war, declare war. Ваша война тщетна. Россию победить невозможно. Кто с мечом к нам придет, тот от меча и погибнет. That's actually really cool. I like how he says that. Your war is hopeless. You have not learned from history. Conquering Russia is impossible. He who lives by the sword dies by the sword. Please. You have not. I don't. I don't live by the sword. Actually, I live by the bow. So, time for you to die. Okay, let's make sure we do this correctly. Are we not actually gonna get the kill on this guy? Okay, I was gonna say that was gonna be a little frustrating. Really? Freaking scout, where the heck did he come from? So there's another barbarian encampment somewhere? Where the heck did he come from? Whatever. That's fine. That's totally fine. Um, so I think I wanna cap you. 
And now we're right on the border of Russia. Do they have walls? No. So how many movements do you have left? You have two left, so let's move you here and then attack. You good, sir? This should not end your turn. Take you. Um, I did, unfortunately, move away from the worker. He could take him right back. Ooh, they have a settler there, too. Ooh. <laughs> We're gonna have some fun. Uh, let's move you across the river. Let's move you across the river. Let's kind of get you guys a little bit closer to America. America. And let's go conquer him. I wonder if I had an omen yesterday. We actually had a bald eagle outside our condo. He was like flying. We saw him when I was taking my wife to work. I wonder if that's a sign that I'm supposed to conquer America. Or maybe, maybe I should actually team up with America. I don't know. <laughs> uh, celestial navigation. Yeah, I think we want to do that because I need to be able to cross the water. And the only way to do that, I think, is shipbuilding. So let's get to shipbuilding ASAP. Uh, I don't think any of these do anything for me. Campus, housing, holy site. Yeah, none of these do anything for me. Production towards defensive buildings. Actually, I want military training. I want to get the yields for pillaging. Even though I don't think I'm going to switch to it, but... Unless I decide to stop building. That's going to be kind of the one thing if I decide to stop building units at some point. Do I need to do something different here? Maybe a commercial hub so I can get another trader out? I think I may actually do this. A commercial hub is going to give me a second trader out, which is going to allow me to get more uh, units popped out because we're going to be able to... We'll be basically making more money. Uh, ooh, your trade. Ooh, yes, please. Please. Give me plus four gold. Awesome. Unit needs to move. Can't move you. Uh, horse archer. Get you close. We actually did kill his um, slinger. Good to know. And we're going to wrap this episode up here. It's nice to be back. It's nice to be recording. Ugh, I missed this. Um, by the way, this is their actual capital here, so that means their secondary city is up here. But next episode, we will hopefully control and take over St. Petersburg. Is there anything that I am missing? Well, when we get to St. Petersburg, we're probably going to immediately buy this and build on the iron so we can actually start popping out uh, some, well, at least upgrade our, our, our warriors, you know. But anyways, I hope you guys are enjoying. If you are, drop a like, go ahead, comment, let me know what you guys think. And as always, hit the subscribe button, join the game comment, show your support. I'll see you guys next episode. Bye.